All right, <clears throat> let's make ourselves a crank pin. We take ourselves uh, 1 8 inch, well, this is actually 5 30 seconds, 5 30 second inch by 0 80 thread, flathead countersunk screw. This one has a a Phillips head on it and I also have on order some ones with a 0.35 of a millimeter hex cap in it so that'll probably look better ultimately and here we have some two millimeter by two millimeter OD oops where is it here now Two millimeter OD by inch or one and a half millimeter ID and the nominal size of a 080 thread is one and a half millimeters so what we do is we take a utility knife I'm going to forego the step here where we take the uh, the old side rod screw but let's see now Maybe I can show that. Yeah, that won't bother. The old side rod screws, anyways, have have a little shoulder on them. Wait a minute now. We got one here somewhere. Let's let's stump stump some out. Here we go. There's the the old hex head side rod screw right there. And it has a little shoulder on it. And there's two different kinds. One's for going through two pieces of side rod, one's going for going through one. There you can see the difference. The shoulder is about 20% longer on the two side rod one. And there's there's one, a side rod, a homemade side rod screw made up here already. But what you do is you take the, take the two millimeter and you place your, I do this under the microscope, it's a little easier to do, but you just place your a utility knife on there and you roll it. And it'll eventually make a cut in the, and there you can see that a cut has been made. And So a little bushing, you end up making a little bushing. It's probably a little long, but I'll get you, you get the point here that you make this little bushing. And I just put the phone down here for a second. Put down the phone! Okay, so we have a little bushing. And we have... The screw, take the tweezers, pick up the screw, and put it in the bushing. Well, we get, we'll get to that point. Anyhow, you end up getting it in the bushing, and it looks like, looks like that which is basically a geometric mimic of a side rod screw. The side rod screws are a pain in the neck because they're made of bra plated brass, which means they're really soft, which means that they're hexagon head, which is very shallow. You use a cheap wrench that they send with these brass models. It's made of soft steel. It mangles that thing. So you end up with a crapped out side rod if you have to do a quartering job or something and remove the side rods. You ruin them. So here's... Now, the 5.30 seconds is too short. But it does give enough, it does give enough thread bite. There you go. Uh, that one's there it was the, for for a double side rod, but I'm getting the three sixteenths ones, which will be just about the right length. 
they don't go all the way through the driver they come up a little short but there you go a shoulder screw for the drivers and you know I was, had someone mention that that you know that having that having that Phillips head would be you know cosmetically ugly or something because uh, it would look like a giant screw on a model I suppose but uh, you know, I, I can't see it any being, being less any less cosmetically ugly than one of these hex heads all mangled up. Anyway, uh, it makes a very effective side rod screw. Very easy to put in and take out with a very small precision Phillips screwdriver. And you can get them nice and firm without worrying about stripping them off. And which means you can also take them out without making a mess too. So... Anyway, a little six-minute video on making side rod screws.